make mad noise for Sebastian Stan! I did not know you were going to have music. That had gone right. <laughs> like, um, I used to watch a lot of WWF when I was growing up. <laughs> Yeah, that always reminds me of that, you know, coming out to a song. Did, did you have like a thing choreographed? Uh, no. Like an entrance? No, I didn't. I didn't. Um, he will now. Yeah. <laughs> like, Clearly, the, you know, um, squat is my entrance. <laughs> Lunges, that's what I do on my house time. That was good stuff. Welcome, though. Welcome. Definitely welcome. Yeah. Right? Welcome? <laughs> I was just talking about how good you guys were, and then you got all quiet all of a sudden. Like, y'all starstruck. What is that? Come on. How's your day been? It's been a good day. Yeah, it's yeah. Been, it's been really great. A lot of familiar faces. It's always really nice to see. Hey, now. People that keep, keep flying around. You guys are... Uh, Maybe not in that order. I met a lot of great new people as well. So Absolutely. Yeah. That is Thank fantastic. coming out. Yes, yes. All right, so let's let's... Open this up because we've got some fans here that want to ask some questions. Stop. So we're going to start on the left and we're going to bounce over to the right. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Mr. Stan, I hope you enjoy St. Louis. And um, my question is, of the, what, between Winter Soldier and Civil War, has there been a point where there was like a thing that you movies before they were released? He wants to know if you a snitch. <laughs> So that's what you just said. No, there's nothing, there's nothing worse than that. But you're, you're saying, was there a secret between Winter Soldier and Civil War? Well, like, do, like, during the production of those movies, was there a part of the plot or, like, an element that was really, like, hard? Well, actually, you know, I, I mean, I, you know, we, look, we, I, I, the thing is, I took that picture with uh, Iron Man's helmet on the Winter Sol Soldier set that they had it around, and I was like, I really, you know, and I did that without knowing that we were ever going to, do Civil War, you know, and I actually sent, I was like, I'm going to send this to Kevin Feige. Picture, and then, you know, and then we ended up doing Civil War, and I couldn't post it for two years or whatever, so, I mean, that was, I guess. <laughs> so it was kind of your fault. You're like, look at this, and he's like, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, no, don't, don't go there with it, but, um, yeah, that was it. They don't keep, they don't keep me informed, which works for the character. Did you have any friends who didn't know you were in Winter Soldier? Say that again? Did you have any friends who didn't know you were in Winter Soldier? Like, they didn't My know. friend called me and told me I was in Winter Soldier. <laughs> and I said, what are you talking about? He said, they just announced its title of Captain America at Comic-Con. It's called The Winter Soldier. And I was, that's how I really found out. Fair enough. Great antidote, thank you. I know. I mean, it's good to have friends. Yeah. Once in a while. Hey. Hello, to the right. So, I have That's a question. A oh <laughs> so, whenever, before you play the soldier that we all love and know, you were Jefferson on Once Upon a Time? <laughs> and before, when you wanted to go into the role of the Mad Hatter, how did you prepare for that? Like, like mentally? Um, I don't know. What did I do for that? I, you know, that was one of those special episodes because everything was written in the script and it was, it was you know, I'd never, I'd never really seen the show before and um, I, I just, I just kind of followed whatever was in the script, you know, and I knew the idea that, you know, he was mad or whatever, so, and, and there was a little bit of that that we could work with, but it was so intricate, it was, it was really well done, I, I just, it was one of the first times where I felt like you know, I was I was cast in a different way or something, you know, so it, it still was a fun experience for me. And then I have one more question. Do you know any Russian still? Do I know my Russian still? Yeah, like, like any Russian, you know? Stutzakoya. <laughs> Gavrilo <laughs> Now, do you know Russian to know what he said, or were you just actually just uh, randomly asking? I don't know Russian. I'm from a galaxy far, far away. So. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good answer. Good, good answer. Good answer. Thank you. Hello. Uh, hi. Um, uh, we've noticed that you change your hair, and it looks great. Uh, my question for you is like, uh, 
for different characters that you build out different outfits. Is there anyone that you like? Is your favorite and future? Favorite outfit and yeah. not favorite outfit? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. And in the future, do you have like any preference to? This is a fashion question. <laughs> you are a fashionable guy, though. Oh, I mean, come on, look at it. Look at it. You see how you just kind of. Yeah, you, right. yeah, you did. It's great. Uh, I took this from this from the from the last movie that I just worked on. I keep that. Uh, but um, the the I Tanya costume was, you know, a little. I was a little on the fence about a lot of. Those you look looks, good in it. Like the shop ones. Um, so, sorry, what's that? I said you look good in it. Come on. Uh, I don't know about those turtlenecks, but anyway, <laughs> I would say there was a little bit of the turtleneck trend going on in lately in the last couple months. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, it just really depends. I know. I mean, but it, that's the fun. You know, that you know, when you get an opportunity to dress different or, or look a little different, like this, you know, character is. Um, it, you know, I actually play an undercover cop that, that infiltrates um, a desert meth gang. So, you know, he's trying to fit in. And, uh, and so that was a different part, you know, and it was, it was nice to stretch yourself. I always think it's, it, it, it kind of, once you get out of your comfort zone, it's good. You know, I gotta keep you guys in that sing song. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Can, you, can you tell us what the name of this movie is? Yeah, it's called Destroyer. Yes! Yeah, yes. it's a really great director. Her name is Karin Kusama, and she did uh, this movie Girl Fight a while back, which is really great. And she great. also did this other movie called The Invitation, which is uh, racers, and, and if you see, it's a really, really crazy movie, but she's very talented, very cool, so. Awesome, good. awesome, look for that. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Um, so can you answer this as yourself for Bucky? Forced to wear warning labels, what would your... What would be your warning label? <laughs> um, anxious. A ages? Anxious. Anxious. No, anxious. anxious. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. <sighs> Bucky's warning label. Um, I, I don't know. Um, Maybe like hockey or something. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what I thought in my head at the time. Been a little while, you know. He's been last a couple of movies, but Winter Soldier. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> something like that. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um. So my question is, uh, you just finished shooting for Destroyer. Um. Is there? What is something that's unique or interesting about this character that you really like? A chicken. Um, well, because it was almost like kind of playing two, two parts, you know? And that was, uh, that's what was fascinating to me about anyone that does undercover work, because they've actually got to be actors in a way, you know? I mean, there, there's no real, you know, there's no real training right. for, for someone to become undercover. I mean, they have certain classes and stuff, but it's all life experience, so, you know, um, it, in a way it was preparing for the guy and then it was him preparing to be undercover as another character. So it was all, it was just like kind of playing two, two people. So that was, that was sort of challenging and fun. Thank you. Did you uh, work with any undercover officers to prep for that? Yeah, I met, I met, I met an FBI agent in New York. Um, there's this great show called Inside the FBI New York on USA and that was really helpful. He was actually on that show, and uh, and he, he gave me a lot of tips. Which nice, was cool. nice. Yeah. You you see Miami Vice the movie, right? The the sh the original show. No, no, no. The actual movie with Colin Farrell and Jamie Foxx. I didn't. See like Colin Farrell did that. Like he worked with undercover officers. Yeah, so I bet. I would love to compare your notes. Like that's not <laughs> real. That's not what they really do. I mean, you know, it just it's fascinating to me because like obviously they're always. You know, on, in a very dangerous environment all the time. Um, but they, I don't know, they keep coming back. Two days are the same. Wow. And, you know, so. It's beautiful. There's that. Hello. Hi. Um, my name's Reagan. Um, sorry. Um, if you could go back to one con and, like, do it all over again, or, like, the best experience you've had at a con, where would you go and why? 
You know, I, I still, to this day, I'll never forget my the very first Comic Con I ever did. And that, that was in Philadelphia. It was Wizard World. Fourteen. And, uh, yeah. We've all been really great. Now it's like, kind of strange to even think of what that was and not knowing coming here and, you know, not knowing anybody. And, but, but that was always very special, I remember that. Number two would be like this morning here. <laughs> Obviously. This is this has been pretty this is pretty good Comic Con I'd say. To kind of meet, you know, meet meet some of you guys and talk to some of you guys. So it was it felt good that way. Well you should always come to Indiana too. We're always Indiana. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have a friend in Seattle who was like, Why aren't you going Yes. People are shouting out Indiana real hard. Y'all are Indiana goes hard, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Who, who, who's your daddy? That's what it is. I got you. Hello. Oh, hi. Um, is there a skill that you learned because of a role that you didn't have before? And if there is, do you still use it in your daily life? Fighting. Uh, <laughs> not in real life. Uh, no, but... but um, the, 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 the training that we were able to get for, the, for these movies has never, you know, like, I, I can't compare it to anything else. I mean, the, the stuff that I got to do in Civil War was just unbelievable. The stunt stuff is, you know, and, and, and it's funny because I, I feel like I talk to stunt men sometimes and they, they're always like, yeah, man, I wish I could be an actor and da da da. And I'm like, no, I wish I could do what you do because you're, you're, you're like talking to me right now. You're about to go through a, through a wall. <laughs> in five seconds, and you're like seemingly unaffected by that, you know? But, um, yeah, the fighting that we've done was, was really pretty special, like learning, learning that, because it's a real choreography and stuff, yeah. Thank no you. one's ever tried to test you? No one's like, what's up, Winter Soldier? Well, now that you said that, now- It's not gonna soldier. happen, because what your answer is is like, no, they don't. <laughs> no. Fortunately, not yet, no. I'll Don't swear up. Get my black belt in March. Swear yeah, up. Yeah, okay. All right. As bodyguard. I like that. One, Perfect. number one. All right. <laughs> Hello. What's up? Hi. Um, it's me again. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, I just want to apologize for what I, how I acted earlier during the autographs. You never have to say oh sorry God. for anything. You want to cry again? Okay. Um, you were amazing. Oh my God, that was super. Okay. Um, yeah, you were amazing. <laughs> Um, when playing a character that is an actual person, do you do anything different to prepare, or...? Yeah, yeah, it is different, because, um, you know, it's like having to, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, it's like someone handing you something and saying, this is, this is what you've got to look at, this is like what you've got to try and fit into. Right. There's no, there's not a lot of freedom, you know, in terms of creating something from imagination or something like that, and, I mean, I guess, you know, even, Bucky Barnes, I mean, you have the comic books, you gotta honor something, but when it's a life, a, a real life person, um, it's really, really hard, yeah. Um, because you you just maybe don't get that, to, you know, you don't succeed, and then what? You know, then you, then you fail, in a way. So, that was pretty scary, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. You have like such a wide variety of characters that you've played. Like you've played the. Yeah, we all love TJ. Um, <laughs> so, what is your favorite role that you've played, and what's a role that you would love to play in the future? Yeah, that's. <laughs> no, I mean, each role has been really different in a, in a good way. I mean, I I I really do like playing, you know, this Bucky Barnes character. I mean, it's always fun coming back to that and. I can't even fathom what it would be like to, for it, you know, to, to come to an end. Um, certainly wouldn't want that to happen in the next two films. <laughs> Was that a spoiler? Uh, there's that. There's there's that other film, that other massive film that I'm not in. Um, <laughs> I mean, but you could be. Well, you know, there's uh, that. Um, but uh, I don't know if I don't know if I have like a, a favorite character really. I mean, they're all interesting in, in a way and, you know, get close to your heart in one way. It takes always a little bit of time to kind of like get rid of, uh, get rid of everybody, you know, once you're done. Um, but this last one was definitely very, 
interesting and challenging in new ways, and I enjoyed that. So, and then, and then, you know, in terms of playing, I wouldn't mind playing uh, a slightly different character than than the one I play, the real life character that I play in that time. Like, but but I wouldn't mind finding another real character to sort of play one day. I think that would be um, an interesting challenge. I don't know. I'm I'm like. I'm like studying those 30 for 30 movies right now, looking left and right. Somebody said to me that I should look at the Tommy Morrison story. I just said there's no way I could ever get to be 285 pounds, you know. But he, I don't know if you guys know who that CGI. was, but that was a wild, crazy, crazy story. Um, maybe I could play Ric Flair. <laughs> I don't know, let's see what I'll Yeah, yeah, we gotta test your woo. What's, what's your woo song? Maybe I'll play Mark Hamill one day. Somebody, uh, somebody at Disney definitely said to me, they're like, so, and I was like, you know, have you seen these pictures of us looking the same? And I won't, I won't say who this is, but uh, they were like, yeah, but does that mean that's what you're gonna look like in a few years? And I was like, maybe. Maybe? Although I think you kind of favor Michael Bean as well. I love Michael Bean. Right? He was great. Oh, so let's do an independent movie, Mark Hamill, yeah. Michael Bean meet at a bar, and you just play both parts. <laughs> the uh, interesting challenge. Okay. Sure. Where is Michael Bean these days? <laughs> That's where he'll always be in my heart. Exactly. Right. Thank you. Thanks, folks. Hello. Okay, hi. Uh, first of all, Team Captain America all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think, I think I've, I've been enjoying, um, I guess rediscovering him in the last few movies, um, including Infinity War, you know, because he started out a certain way and then it was such a hard left, you know, with Winter Soldier, it was immediately like, um, a whole different ball game. And then now it's kind of been fun going back a little bit and finding different things you know, that we discovered in that early movie and putting it back in, you know, little by little and uh, where, is, where is he now and stuff like that. So, uh, unhinged, you know, and keeping everybody around him on edge. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. <laughs> All right, DJ. There's, I had 101 songs on the playlist I created for him. I mean, it's, it's impossible, but because it's the only thing that's coming to my mind right now, and there are many, um, I, I always like that song by, the, by Pink Floyd, Another Brick in the Wall. Ooh. That was always a song that, that I, for some reason, always made me think of him. Yeah. That's kind of perfect, actually. Like, that, like, if you really think about it, that's meta, like, perfect. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. I mean, let's all download that right now. <laughs> Make Pink Floyd very, very happy. Yeah. Nice. Exactly. Thank you. Hello. What's your favorite <laughs> um, Another classic. <laughs> uh, you know, we were, too er we were too early with that movie. Like, I mean, like, you know, we could have, there could have been a moment there. Because remember, Twilight came right on right. the end, and they, those guys really figured it out. But um, I I'll say one thing about it. I, some, 